I've got five for my job. Oh, it's 54. I'm absolutely not doing well for time. <laughs> You'd think that I would be desirable. Apparently not. Alexa, stop. Good morning. I'm going to tie this jumper up. I guess it's a bit like, it sits really weirdly. I don't even know why. Um, so I'm going to tie it up in like a little mold block. Um, I'm gonna spray it. Why is it so much? The first thing I do is like spray this um, dry ice stuff in my eyes because I've got like ridiculous dry eyes. Oh, it's dribbling all down my face. Dripping all down my face. But I was gonna like set myself up like at my vanity, which is that, um, and pretend that like that's what I do every day. But I was like, you know what, no. And I really don't do makeup on my vanity. I literally hate doing my makeup in anything other than a long mirror. And I don't even want to turn the camera right now, round right now to show you my long mirror because it is so grim. <laughs> it's full of like hairspray. My hair looks kind of strange right now because I just had it like tied up. But I have a way of fixing it. So I sit on my floor every day. To do makeup for school, I don't really do that much makeup for school, so I can do loads. Like, I literally do like the most basic little conundrum that's not the right word, but I'm gonna pretend it is. So, I'm clipping that back with a claw clip, and then I'm gonna get another. Oh, that's not even right. I'm gonna get another and then clip the other one on the end. And it basically just like stretches my hair. I'm sat on the floor, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm so tired. <laughs> it's not even early, it's like Ten past seven. I wake up at um, ten to seven normally. If I can get up out of bed. Right. That's the look I'm going for to do with makeup. <laughs> um, so I have this little down on the floor. I do have a makeup drawer, but I have this little makeup bag. Like it's easier to have the everyday makeup in for when I'm when I'm like travelling. Um, so I have this cute little makeup bag with on makeup in, which I use every day. And then just a little brush pot, even though I do have another brush pot over there as well. I really didn't want to have to edit this video. Like, I just feel like one of them things where like you just film it and like you just can just like upload it once you put all the videos together. Um, but I'm starting to think that's not really gonna work because I'm just all over the place. And this is a simple hydrating light moisturizer. Um, light moisturizer because I have the oily skin. Anyway, essentially today is literally just like a little. Why is that falling out? <sighs> today is just like a little chatty get ready with me update on my life because i haven't like filmed like a actual talk through of what's going on right now in my life in forever so i thought i'd just like include it in this video it's sort of like it's basically morning routine but i'm not gonna call it a morning routine because i'm trying to be 2023-esque so it's going to be a get ready with me for college <laughs> i don't normally do this but i'm gonna like just with my skin because I didn't do last night. I didn't do my skin care last night because on a Monday I had the busiest day. Today's Tuesday, by the way. Um, I literally got to school 9 a.m. to 4 20, no like free periods or anything in between. And then from college, I got straight home, I had to wait 40 minutes of bus twist yesterday, which isn't fun. Um, but I go straight home, literally get changed, and then I'm leaving the house again and I have to go to dance. Um, and Dance starts at seven, but I live really, really far from where I go to dance, so it takes me a while to get there. So I have to start off like really early, and, and I finish dance at nine. Again, it takes me ages to get home, so I get home until like nine thirty, ten, and I have to have my tea after I got home from dance. So I literally had nine times to do nothing. Bearing in mind, I normally go to sleep at like nine thirty, nine thirty. 10 30. Well, I say I got to sleep at 10 30. It doesn't end up normally being like more around 11. Um, I'm using the Incredible Brow Brow Kit. The more and more I'm filming this video, I'm realizing that I'm definitely gonna have to do a. I don't have time for this. It's 23 minutes past. I've normally done like all makeup by now. I'm really struggling. <laughs> um, today I have the hub, and that's a thing like in my school where we just literally go sit there for like two hours and do absolutely nothing um because i don't know why we do it i actually don't have a clue why we do it um, it's just one of the pointless things that my college does i say college it's a an l6 form it's actually a six form in college so whatever that means in the hub we just go and sit there at these like computers in this like glass box <laughs> i'm not even joking like it's actually a glass box 
and I have to come at 9am in the morning just for that. It's kind of not fun when I already have to go into college every day at 9am. When other people go in at like 11, it's so sad. Uh, I just have a really shit timetable. But to be fair, I don't think I've spoken about what subjects I do yet. Um, but I take maths, further maths, psychology and business. You can guess which one's my worst one. Um, I actually really like psychology as well. Although everyone else says I hate it. I don't know if that just reflects the fact of how bad my other subjects are, but I really like psychology, it's like one of my favourites. What do I do next? I don't even know what I do next. Mascara. I'm using the Curl Bounce Wash Mascara. Honestly, so late. It's half past. That's what I was going to say that I'm, I'm filming this today, specifically today, because I don't mind if I'm late to um, the hub. I, just, I don't care. I don't care. But please don't take L for maths. Like, please don't do that to yourselves. And the thing is, I didn't enjoy maths in the first place. So why I thought it was a good idea. Actually, no, I know why I took A level maths. Because I was pressured into it at the interview with the guy who interviewed me for my sixth form. I was like, mm, I think you should take this. And he didn't take no for an answer. So I'm now drawing in, in maths work to do. Anyway, on a better note, I just got Leeds first tickets which is really exciting. I've never been to Leeds West before. I'm 17, so is that late? No, I think most people go when they're either 17 or 16. And I'm gonna see Chase Atlantic. And I was actually, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I don't think I have, because I think I got a ticket during GCCs and I wasn't filming during GCCs. I haven't filmed since really GCCs. But my, um, I actually got Chase Atlantic tickets. And when I say I got Chase Atlantic tickets to, for, the, for the London concert, I literally stood after, because they got released on the day of my like, GC Maths Paper 2 exam um, and they, was get, I got, they got released at like 10am and I didn't finish the exam until 10.20 so I kid you not after the exam I ran to the toilets <laughs> and my school like my high school blocked the signal in the building I don't know how they did it but like in these specific toilets it was like a little bit of signal if you stood in the end toilets <laughs> I went to the end toilet and I stood on the toilet seat and I remember falling in the air trying to get these tickets I managed to get them for me and my friend I was absolutely buzzing and they were only like 30 pound as well 30 pound each or something um now they're like 90 pound um but anyway um that was like a year ago no less than a year ago um and we went to go like last week I think it was but there was like a thing that happened at the arena in Brixton where it was meant to be so the arena got closed down until like a few days after the concert was due to thing due to that go so and they had to reschedule it but um the new date ended up being a day which I couldn't go anyway it was actually earlier than like the original date which is kind of a bit like well who's gonna be able to go down oh why did I just blink like that oh. um but we couldn't make the date because it was in London and I live very far from London, like I live in the north of England. If you're not from England, then London's in the south of England, and I live in the north of England, so it's like a good four hour drive or two and a half hour train journey. And that'd have been fine, we would have had to miss college, that'd have been fine. And um, but the issue was that we couldn't book a hotel, me and my friend are both 16, 17, so we couldn't book a hotel without. <laughs> I need to get a clear makeup bag. I'm using the Benetton, which is my new favourite thing. I literally love it so much. And I use it as a blush and as a lip tint. Um, anyway, we couldn't like a book like a, a hotel um, without an over 18. And my mum was gonna come with us and just like stay in the hotel with us when we was gonna go originally. But on the new dates that they gave us, she like was busy. Like she couldn't get the day after work. So basically we couldn't go that day anyway. But now I'm going to see them at Leeds Fest because I'm going on Sunday. My camera's going to die. This is not okay. I'm really not okay. Um, putting blusher on. It looks really strong right now, but it like dies down. And I put it like my nose and it gives me like the cold look. I'm back. I literally just like went down and ate breakfast while I wait for my camera to charge. What time is it? It's 46. I'm actually doing really well. Look at me. I turned this around. This part of my hair is a lot more frizzy than that side. I need to colour my eyelashes. Sometimes I put eyelashes on, very rarely though. Um, and foundation wise, I put foundation on or concealer on about like once a term, to be honest. Like maybe on the first day of school and then maybe on the last day of school, I'll put it on. But that's about it. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, my skin's actually not that bad. Like it, it looks fine. It's wearable. Oh my god, my eyelashes stuck to the eyelash curler. I don't know, know, I need a new job because um, I got fired from my job. I got fired from my job. My mum fired me. My mum's my manager, bear in mind. So, 
I'm going on my girls' holiday next year when I turn 18 after my levels and I can't afford it without a job, so I have to find something. And I hate, indeed, I actually think they just send them, like, I make applications and they just send it to Finna because not one single response. Not one single response. Bear in mind, I've had a job before. I have, like, work experience. Um, like, I'm not just, like, a chip of fuck, you know? Like, I have a job. I've had a job uh, before. And you'd think that I would be desirable. But apparently not. I did see a job at JD, actually, but I was speaking to some of my friends. I would be terrified. Like I actually would be terrified. I don't. I just don't think I'm gonna do it. If you don't live in the UK, that's gonna make sense. Not gonna make sense. Um, but I just, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But I'd be so scared to do it. I wouldn't speak to customers. And I kind of need to do that. Um, so my mum's having a go at the cats. Um, the Vlent House open doors, which is a little bit scary. I'm gonna put this sponge in on my lips. Sometimes it goes really weird. Or sometimes it goes really well. And I don't know why. I don't know the what I do differently, but. I don't know, this just rub it off. I can't read on my fingers now. Um, but that's all you have to do. I've got an eyelash in my eye. I'm also going for withdrawal symptoms because I watched the Madeline Argy's podcasts, um, like all in one go. <laughs> like, I literally, she uploads them to YouTube and I watch every single one. They're all like 30 minutes to an hour long and I watched all of them in a row, just sat there watching her speak about absolutely nothing for like however long it is. And I thrived off that. She is my free therapist. I actually love her. She's my favourite person in the whole entire world. And I've never met her. Not once. But I love her. Like, she just speaks at the speed that my brain thinks. And I love it. And she hasn't uploaded in two weeks. So, I'm going to take these out of my hair. And just chuck it in my hair. I look a little bit weird. The blusher will die down. I don't know how the cam on camera it looks strong. It's not my bad in real life. Um... I also need to sort my bag out and say goodbye to my own makeup bag of tricks for today. And, oh, it's 54. I'm absolutely not doing well for time. <laughs> Where's my bus? I've got like a bus tracker app. It's my watch on. I'm putting my watch on, jewelry wise, and I'll, I do normally put my um, Pandora wrist on, but I don't think I have the time because if my bus is close, then I'm gonna die. I'm probably gonna end this here because, like I say, I'm absolutely so late. Um, let me put the hair out and give you like a full of view of my look. Oh, my camera's about to die, so I'm hoping it doesn't die. So I've shown you. So, um, these leggings, which from Sheen, and then this Ralph Ren jumper, and then her looks like this. And I need to put my rings on, and I'm gonna wear my wear my daily but oh, my necklace is from Priya. Priya. Don't know how you say it. Why do my lips look really dry? Um, and I'm gonna put wear my Bailey Bow Uggs in brown. Mm.